April 8th, the day of the eclipse. And because we're in Vermont and in Franklin County, supposedly it's one of the best areas to watch this. It's like three and a half minutes, I guess, before it's dark. And it's, people are coming from the farthest plate we saw was Oklahoma. That's what Christoph saw on the interstate. So there are people coming from a long ways away for this thing. But anyways, we're gonna spread some shit in the dark, I guess. Um, <laughs> we are agitating at the moment a little bit. Normally the first day we really don't have to because the hoppers come out right here in this general facility for the from the barn. So the first day is pollen. It's really thick and it mixes in a little bit on its own, so we don't agitate really. And then after that, once it gets that section sucked away, then we start agitating. It. We can normally keep it pretty thick. I already got it pretty thick. The camera won't pick it up, but it's how we've done it the last couple of years, and it works. And it's faster going on the first day because you don't want to agitate. Now we can, like, if we have time, but normally. We just don't, and we just send it. We're, we're making it work. And uh, we're heading back down to Enosburg. And we'll see how today goes. We are down here back in Enosburg. There's no school today, so Marcus, he's gonna be, you excited? You happy there's no school? Oh yeah. Are you gonna keep spraying with the pick right? and the deer and uh, so we just had nine to ten inches of snow four days ago and then it rained and melted and now um, yeah she's driving with an 18-wheeler in the field she could actually drive most of the ways but like all the dips and stuff she'd have to skip so and she's cutting in pretty decent right there, actually. But, uh, so the whole field gets spread, we're just nursing. And all the close fields we do with the tractors, at least most of them, uh, can't spread yet. She's getting close to stuck. We got that lined up. Marcus is giving me bad news already. What, are you t what did you say? It won't start. Come on. Real bad news. Real bad news. Alrighty. We got the seat so far for it. I don't even think I can fit in here. Oh. It's not my fault on this tiny. Yeah, the battery's also cut. Poop. Dad, I thought he put new batteries in this thing, but he must have put used ones in. I just called Krista. Ooh, the old classic deer started right up. I don't need that in this cab. Um, Christoph said he put brand new batteries in this thing. So I have a good feeling, Marcus doesn't probably realize it, but he left the key on. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I wasn't in here, so there's a good chance he left the key on because he put brand new batteries in it. It don't matter. Um, We'll battery charge it or boost it with one of the trucks and we'll have them going. They're not old batteries, so they should fire up right away. Bernie just filled me up. He brought some jumper cables. There's Christoph's working on that engine with Ken. Hoping to get that done today. So, we're charging this up. Marcus, you definitely left the key on. Your dad said it's brand new batteries. <laughs> now you'll have that when we bought that 86 I think several people ran the batteries out doing the same thing that close out I can't hear how it's turning over but I know it ain't enough nope wires they're dead dead it's because it's been four days since we've ran it so the key's been on for four days no, no bueno. What do you have to tell the camera? Don't do that. <laughs> I just wanted to check if the terminal, if uh, these were on good, because this was on here. 
You don't have to have it snug and tight, but it sure does help. Well, we tried tightening that up. We'll see what that did. Batteries are definitely low. But she's alive. Alrighty. Marcus, I got your tractor running. But you can uh, run the Harrells up and down the couple loads we did if you want. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, those are definitely some solar eclipse watchers, I'm guessing, on the rail trail. Well, that don't matter. We're going to get this uh, jumper cables off. And it definitely helps to have your batteries tight. I was walking by this tractor to go back to mine. I realized they didn't plug in the, the blinker kit for the pick right. So I was going to just plug it in. And uh, this is the ISO bus for the John Deere which, I mean, we're not using for the pick, right? So I figured this was where you plug it in. Um, that plug-in is not the same as these universal, like this is a universal design for tractors. They all use the same thing. Like every single tractor on our farm, even cabless ones that have plug-ins, like, have that. And this John Deere does not. Now, I don't know if it's because it's European, but that shouldn't matter because our Masseys and a 200 and that 7600, that's European model, has the same plug-in as this. Now, maybe I'm wrong and that's not even for this and this is another part of like the ISO system. And this tractor literally just doesn't have the plug-in for blinkers on the back, but I'm pretty sure it should be right there. I bet if I power probed it, it would work off the four ways and blinker system, but I'd have to change it for some weird reason. But that's just dumb. Now, I could be wrong and all the John Deere are like that, the newer ones. But I think that's completely stupid if that's the case, because you can't hook onto anything, because all the implements are designed with that universal setup. Yeah, just something I literally just noticed. So, Philip is loading up Stanley. They're just lining up. And I'm gonna go spread my load. Well, we're here in the tractor with Marcus. He's been doing a bunch of loads already. And then all of a sudden he said, um, he couldn't, the PTO wouldn't turn on. Somehow he turned the PTO settings into the neutral. You must've hit a button or AV did when you were loading. Probably. Either way, Ava's riding with him because there's no school today. But, um, I got that fixed. We got his beater spinner. You can go back to spreading now. Yep. He is barely staying ahead of us, right? But he's working from here all the way over to the road and the rail trail, and half the front is already done from last time. But we're gonna get going, Marcus. Man, these steps are like straight up and down. All right. Dad, can I go? I'm climbing. I got Henry right now, but maybe when your mom takes him, okay? Let's roll. Henry, you gotta get out of the way. He's gonna turn the beaters or the manure on. Phillip's already empty, but my mom's bringing lunch, so the trucks are informed they should wait. So when he picks up the beater, the top manure falls down and hits. And that's why you have to have the beaters on um, before you open the tailgate. Because otherwise, it's not always, but most, a lot of times, a lot falls. And then um, it can be really hurt, hard to turn those beaters on. But I think I explained that in the last video, but that was recorded four or six days ago. I don't remember exactly what I said anymore. But, here Henry, you wanna go look at the job it's doing? Okay. It's kind of spreading thin right here cause there wasn't a lot on there, but that don't matter. I can still show you how of a coverage job it's doing. It looks like it's spreading basically perfectly even. Hey Henry, don't, don't step in the liquid though. 
What do you think, Henry? You can see it's spreading pretty even. It's a little thin right in the center, but the beater wasn't fully pushing yet because it has to get that whole load moving in the first, like, three feet of that pusher. Once it gets there, it gets moving, and then it's pretty even. I can see up there where the corner is that it gets thicker in the center. What do you think, Henry? You want to tell the people what you think? Us buy that. We bought that? No. No, no, no. Weibo Farm. <laughs> He's saying Weibo Farm. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's roll. Just had lunch. Back to spreading. And. Ava is riding with me now. What do you think? Did you have lunch too? Yeah. What did you think of lunch? Good. <laughs> they don't got school today either because of this eclipse. It's supposed to be happening in a couple hours. It's 1.30 right now. The amount of traffic on uh, 105 right now is mind-boggling because supposedly Enosburg, um, Berkshire and Richford are like the perfect spot. Uh, I don't know. I haven't looked into it. It's just what I've heard. So there's a lot of people in this area, and they are just parking wherever the hell they want, apparently. But it'll only be for a day. Well, we're gonna keep spreading the door. I've seen a lot more people on the rail trail today though than normal. Right, Amy? Yeah. Crazy, right? Crazy. This day it's never gonna happen, actually. What? This day it's not gonna never ha happen. <laughs> Again? Yeah. You know, there's gonna be one in South Africa. Now, if we go to South Africa, there's gonna be one. <laughs> but we're not going to South yeah, Africa. But there's a clips that happen actually quite often. It's just if they're in the same area or not. I just got filled and I just spread out the next load from the last recording clip. And they never last very long. They always find a way to fall asleep. But uh, well, Ava's out. She's sleeping. And Marcus is, you can see, he's just barely keeping up with us if we had the other tanker going there was zero chance he'd be keeping up we are waiting a little bit but you know alex i gotta take her other bit of her load and right there coming off 105 is philip spreading away And Ferdy just went over the CB and he's headed here with um, his truck. The engine is done. So that is nice. He got the second trailer back. <laughs> yeah, it must be he's pulling in off the road. We got Ferdy rolling in here with the first load of the year for that truck. And the first job it's done with the new engine job. That thing was hours away from grenading. Like that engine did not have any more life left into it. Now since it's the first load, there's a 100% chance that that boom is not gonna work correctly because it never works right on the first day until we get the kinks out of it. It's not working. Look, look, I knew it wasn't working. He's already shaking his head. He got it picked up, and that was it. Oh, my goodness. It's like clockwork every dang year. You got to put a new battery in it, even if you turn the disconnect on, off for the winter. And normally something's not charging right on the first load. Yeah, well, Bertie, what do you think, Avi? The sun is orange when I looked at it. I couldn't see because... The sky was black over here, and you said it was up here. So I looked over there, it was black, and I, towards this way, it's the moon, it's the 
the moon and it's orange. So it's working. Yeah. That's so cool. Because this is too bright. Maybe if we use this. Anyways, while we're sitting here watching Marcus get loading, loaded, he's loading himself. My tractor decided to give us the 50 hour warning that the oil change is due soon. We have currently 8,365 hours on it, and the oil change is due as 8,414. She doesn't have the most hours in the world, but it's not a new machine anymore. <laughs> So Ava, I was just like, did you look at the sun? She goes, yeah. And I was like, did you see how it's getting covered up now? She goes, what do you mean? I thought that was my finger. Hey. Ava, did you think that was your finger? Yeah, I thought that was my finger. Is it cool? Yeah, it's cool. I thought it was my finger, my pinky, and it was right here, like halfway. And I thought that was my finger. You think it's cool that we just live in the right spot to view it? Yeah. What are the chances, right? Can Oma see it? Yes, Alma will be able to see it too. Where'd you get the balloon? Alex is here. Look at that, he's got his boom working. He just had to change out the remote batteries. It wasn't the, the disconnect worked, I guess, this year on the tanker, but the remote batteries were still dead. These are my new uh, sunglasses. Maybe I'll keep them around for welding, since basically they're the same thing. Since you can wear a welding helmet. Maybe this will, it's about half covered now. But. Yeah, that's not gonna work, is it? I can't zoom in or anything. Well, he's got it working. <laughs> he almost just hit himself in the head. Um, he's gotta grease his swinging, I see. No bueno. No good. All right. It's actually getting darker out now, so it is happening. You're not, this this camera will not do it. My GoPro, at least, I don't know how, but it is actually getting darker out. Maybe I can do a little bit with my phone. It's better than nothing, but. We're pumping away, we got the equipment rolling finally. Marcus is just, he ain't keeping up now with the extra tanker while Kristoff's here helping with that boom. Look at that little Hedry. It's getting close. What do you think? Cool. Cool? Spreading shit and looking at the sun disappear, right? Break dance. I dance when I'm excited. She dances when she's excited. Okay. Alright, I'll be back. Well, it is 325. It's supposed to be dark at 326 something here. So, oh, look at that. You can, we're watching it turn dark. That's, I'm gonna get out. It's actually cool. Look at it. What is wrong with you? I'll be fine. I'm not looking at it. I just look at it. <laughs> that is pretty cool. We have it. It's not even popping up on the screen anymore. Look at the darkness. Okay. Oh, look at it right now. No, actually, like, look at it. Oh, that's shit. That is cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's cool. I can't even see it with the glasses. Look. 
Well, it is 326 in the afternoon and it's time to turn the lights. Look, Marcus is still spreading. He's got the lights on. Oh man, that is really cool. Hey, there's an airplane up there. This is pretty cool. Can't stop Marcus though. He is he is still spreaded. Eclipse or not. Yeah. Marcus is literally continuing. What do you think, Ava? What do you think, Henry? Is there a red dot on the moon? Henry, what do you think? Mm. Why is moon. there a red dot on the moon? I don't see one. There's no red dot, Avi. Yeah, there is. It might look a little bit pink. I can see like a pink. Oh, color. you can kind of see it wanting to come back. When it comes back, make sure you wear your glasses, Ava, okay? Why? Because it's still the sun. You don't want to look completely on it. Is that Look, Henry, you want to smile Still for the camera? It the it's coming a little back. Hey, look at it. Oh, Henry, don't look at it. Put the oh, glasses at least on them. <laughs> look at this one. Where is those? Oh, that oh. is so weird. Oh, I literally don't look at it without the glasses on, okay? And we're back to daylight. It literally does not take much and it's all the way back. Well, people travel thousands of miles to see three minutes. Anyone that doesn't say three minutes is a long time is a liar because they travel thousands of miles for that apparently. <laughs> it's a long time. Um, yeah, well, I can turn my headlights back off. Or my lights ones that I turned on. Yes. Well, there's the hype for the day. The kids were all excited. I already saw it. I already saw it. Was that cool? Yeah, that was cool. Like it turned to in the middle at like at in like real life if this didn't happen it would never turn dark in the middle of the daytime. I I but it did. Because this is this is real life. Dad, because Dad said yeah. when it gets cocoon. dark, it gets cold. But now yeah. it's cold. When cocoon. When are we gonna chop corn? Yes. When? It's gonna be September. Uh, In September, we're chopping corn, Henry. You excited? Me. It's getting big at night. Hey, you gotta cover his eyes. Oh. His head's, head's a little smaller than yours. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always when Henry looks. All like right. I'm you guys gotta go back and ride with uh, your brother, okay? Yeah, I had to get up. Well, we are done the dry cornfield down here. Uh, we're headed back. We still have to do this cornfield, but it's too wet to get the trucks down there for nursing through the grass because we'll just make horrible ruts or to drive the tractor from the bottom grass field up. Man, they were not lying on truckers uh, that the traffic is bad because there is a lot of traffic. There, everybody's leaving now that came up to this area. I think it was a little worse an hour ago once it's right got done, but it's five o'clock right now and we're headed to the next field that we can do. Well, we're at King's. It's already seven o'clock now. It's gonna be my last load for the day because we gotta do some other stuff. But Pierre is running the 8670. He came after his job and decided to help us out, which is always appreciated. So he's heroin. Um, Henry is sitting on Alex's lap, helping her fill the tankers. Henry. Oh, he's looking. He gave the old thumbs up. <laughs> well, we're on the right side of the road. Two loads here. Marcus is doing his last one, but that'll be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Till the next one.